Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about tools. Not the tools that I have in front of me, although those are going to be a part of it. What I'm really going to talk about is tools that you use to hunt for tools. It sounds like somebody looking through their toolbox trying to find that screwdriver that gets buried in the bottom all the time. But similar, but not the same. The tools that I use when I'm hunting for tools are, first off, my eyes. Everybody knows that they, you can look and see the tools. That is, if you have eyes, if you can see. Not everybody has eyes that work, so sometimes you have to come up with other ways of doing things, but myself, I have eyes, so I'm going to work from that. So, you use your eyes, and you see, <laughs> hey look, there's a chainsaw. And then you go, hmm, has a tag on it that says, for parts, has no carb, $10. Well, not only does it not have a carb, it doesn't have a bar. And if you get a chainsaw for $10, but you spend $150 on a bar and a chain, you really didn't gain much. Because then you have an old chainsaw with a brand new bar and a brand new chain that you're not really sure is gonna work that well. But for 10 bucks, and you look over an aisle, and you find this sitting. This happens to say McCullough 19 inch bar and chain, 10 bucks. So you look at the chain and you go, yeah, it's still got a lot of the tooth left and the rakers aren't all filed down. Looks like somebody didn't use this much. Either they put a new chain on it or they didn't run it very much. In either case, it's probably pretty good. Now the paint's still on the bar. That's even better. That means this bar hasn't been used hardly at all. Because, I tell you, my chains and my bars, uh, they're all wore out. And I don't use them that much. But I've had them for about 20 years. So, time, you know, it works out. Anyways, the other thing I'm, lo I'm looking at is that the bottom of the bar is flat and the top of the bar is curved. Okay, that tells me that they never flip the bar. Whatever time they did use this thing, uh, they just started up and ran it. Never did much to it. So now I have a $20 chainsaw with a bar and a chain. But it says it doesn't have a carb. And this thing was taped on. When somebody says, for parts only, it's a big red flag. You go, oh man. Is this thing even worth monkeying with? So, I took the tape off and took the cover off. Since I've already showed you what this tag says, I can take the tag off. Look inside the cover, it's got one chip on it. Right there. Not a deal breaker. But now I can look in and see that yes, the carb is missing. Okay, but before I get any further than that, I'm going to look and say, okay, what else is missing? Well, it has the linkage to the pump, so the little oiler probably works. The linkage to the carburetor is still there. Doesn't appear to have any big holes in the case. Now here comes the acid test. Does it have any compression? If it doesn't have compression, I'm not gonna buy monkey with it. Even for 10 bucks, it's not worth the trouble. Yep, it's got compression. Actually, pretty good compression. Kinda goes along in my mind with the uh, paint still being on the bar. Uh, Probably what happened, and I'm guessing here, way out, wild guess. Somebody left uh, alcohol, gas, and the carb, and it ate the carb. That happens. 
alcohol and aluminum, they don't get along. So, no carb. Got all the pieces and parts other than a carb. It's got compression. I didn't check for spark, but I didn't stand in the middle of the Habitat for Humanity restore and pull the plug and do all those kind of things. I'm thinking that it probably has spark. Most times it does. If it doesn't, then that's going to be another issue. Might be a deal breaker. I'd be in it for 20 bucks and I'd have a bar and a chain that I could probably sell for 20 bucks. So I think it's still a wash. So now I get out the main tool that I use when I'm hunting, which is my cell phone. Now this is a smartphone. It just happens to be a Samsung. It's about uh, 12 years old. So it's not the top of the line, but then neither am I. And I can look in there and go, okay, eBay. Now, looking on eBay, I can see that this is a McCullough Timber Bear. It says it right on the side of the air cleaner cover there. So a McCullough Timber Bear has a Walbro HDB 6B carb. And they go for anywhere from $76.23 $24.99 and today is not a good day to buy a Walbro carb because they're running about 24 bucks so that makes it a $44 chainsaw okay is it a $44 chainsaw it's still an unknown it doesn't run but on the day that I was looking at Walbro carbs on eBay this one was priced at eight bucks. Okay, I can live with a twenty-eight dollar chainsaw because this one actually came with all the bits and pieces. It has the little filter that's missing. It's got the carburetor. It's got the adapter plate. and it's going to fit my chainsaw. So now I've got all those things, but I have a really, really dirty chainsaw with a lot of crap on it. Well, that means I'm going to have to clean it. Not going to do that today. We're talking about what you need to have with you when you go hunting for tools. So now I know that this is a okay deal. I haven't found any deal breakers yet. I just have to clean the chainsaw, mount the chain and bar, and mount the carburetor and see if it runs. We'll get to that later. That's just some of the tools that I use when I'm looking for tools. The best one is your head. Don't buy something that's just broken because you think it might be okay. Do a little looking. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a whole lot of stuff that's never going to work. Now, how do I know that? Well, I learned how to do this because I kept trying. Didn't always make a good deal. Sometimes it turned out to be, okay, it's a boat anchor. But hopefully, these tips will help you avoid that problem. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel. Just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the US or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.